Are we ready? <laughs> Just throw your wall up against my phone. <laughs> <laughs> throw your wall up against the phone? I'm gonna throw my wallet. <laughs> you said throw your wall up against the phone. Careful, I'm gonna throw a wall. <laughs> this is the same woman that got lost in the parking lot. I got so mad at my controller yesterday, I almost threw the wall. <laughs> yeah. Well, you I know. knew I meant throw your phone up against the that, wall. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, this is a response video to my challenge, which was challenged by Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> he, he challenged me to do my top 10 video and then asked all of us that took on the challenge to also tag five other people and Dennis was lucky enough to be tagged by me. Yeah, because we wanted so, another video out of it. Yes. You loved it. Yeah. He he was all gung ho for it. Yeah, I can do top ten, no problem. I can blah, do blah, top blah, ten. I can do easy. top ten. I already got my top ten picked out. Yeah, see how easy that was. I'm like, okay, which one's uh, which one's your number one? I have an excellent idea. Let's change the subject. <laughs> so you nominated. Both Tom and Tom Lacey. and Lacey from Do You Nerd. Yeah. yeah. What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? You also nominated Denver Gamer. Denver Gamer, yes. All right. Throw people up in here. That's what I'm talking about. Scotty, Scotty J. Retro. Scotty J. Retro. You guys can find him on Instagram. Yes, Instagram, Facebook, yes. and soon to be YouTube. And who is the other one? Gernaldino. Oh, Gernaldino. Yes. 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 Hello, all, and welcome to my pickups video, which took place on November 7th, 2021. So, uh, everyone out there that I've nominated, I want to see your top 10 games. <laughs> all right. Your number 10. This my number 10 list. pick. Nearly beat out another, like, 40, 50 games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Final Fantasy 2. On, if I'm why on, do you keep I, putting I have it upside did. down. It's the why do, you keep put, why do you keep putting it in front of my drink? Like, I might not want to drink this, which I don't. I'm keeping it for balance. Anyway, Final Fantasy 2 uh, was <laughs> the second game of the Final Fantasy <laughs> franchise. <laughs> Uh, it now, see, because I'm not familiar with the Final Fantasy franchise at well, all. Well, one comes after two. What? Uh, well, <laughs> in Japan, depending. though, which one? Isn't number three, like, six or two? something bullshit okay, like that? Okay, you guys didn't even catch what I said. One comes after two. I meant two comes after one. <laughs> <laughs> this Sorry, is so a drunken it. rant. No. <laughs> all right, tell us why you love that game, and then we'll drink to it. <laughs> I like this game because it's an RPG. I'm just and starting to get into those. You're mm -hmm. just starting to get into it. Yeah. But what I really enjoyed with Final Fantasy 2 is the story is fantastic. As you're playing through, you're gaining characters, you lose characters, and they all, they all have a story that fits, mm. that fits all together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I, I hate the idea of losing characters. But you don't really lose them, it's just you, you're die. at a they certain spot the and they say, they the I'm gonna stay okay. here, hold the fort, you go do this. Okay. So okay. you don't need those characters. And okay. it just, the music is so good. That, well, back then games. I, like I would then. say, like Scott, that you're just kind of venturing into the RPGs. Yeah. Uh, I know Final Fantasy is on your radar. Oh, yeah. Uh, but you don't really have to play the first it, one in order to. It, you, it doesn't matter for the one. Final Fantasy. You can just grab one, whatever. There's a yeah. few that are kind of together, like similar characters. Yeah. But this one here is like a standalone game. Okay. Uh, you can pop it in. Never have played Final Fa the original Final Fantasy, and Still it does. doesn't matter. Can you talk about it for another 25 minutes so we don't ever have to drink this shit? Oh yeah, we're drinking now. Let's drink this. Oh. I absolutely hate the smell of this. <laughs> it smells like apple, apple cider vinegar. It smells like fucking potpourri. It smells like Oh apple yeah, that's how I got my, my story. <laughs> yeah. Let's try it. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, no. It's bad. 
It's well, it doesn't cool. taste like anything. I Shut don't... up! Sweet and gross. Weird. Wow. It leaves an aftertaste. You said it tastes like nothing. Well, now it's hitting me. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm more of a bitter than a sweet guy. How are you still going back for more? He's like, mm -hmm. This one here on, That'll the, clear on the sugar scale was like quite low. It was really low. It was like a five or something, wasn't it? And the other one was like a 70. So I had way more sugar. And this is sweet. I don't. You like don't it. like it? You don't have to drink Will Dennis drink it? Because he seems to enjoy it. <laughs> uh, my next bit. <clears throat> This is not how you did them the first time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider judges yep. you for making it number nine. I know. My six, seven, eight, nine, ten pick. You could just go. I could go mix and them. match because you say that, but I shuffled them up on you just to fuck with you there. I mean, I could redo it again and, and find a different one, but Tomb Raider is definitely in my top 10. I have it number nine. I, I love the game so much. It was my brother that actually bought it for me. My oh brother my. buys me most of these games that I'm like, because oh, yeah. he plays a game and he's like, you have to, you have play, to play this. this one. And when I first played Tomb Raider, it, it, it just, it, it was gritty, it was dark. So yep. And I so enjoyed it. The gameplay was really smooth. Uh, the first time I played it, like I might have encountered like one little glitch where there was there was a scene where these guys are, are sliding down on a uh, oh on a like like a wire, like a wire yeah. and they're, they're flying down and I'm trying to shoot them. Anyways, and this one guy I shot him once and they didn't they never die on the first shot unless it's a headshot. Yeah. But I hit him in the chest and when he fell down, he fell halfway through the floor yeah. and it was just kind of like <laughs> and I'm trying to shoot him pop 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 and he was just like because it they couldn't determine where he was was he and I couldn't kill him and I couldn't kill him and I was going like right at him and I had to replay that level and on top of that uh, Lara Croft kind of a hot she's yeah. not bad looking she's yeah. not bad looking she's easy on the eyes if that's what you're into yeah, if you're into good looking women, Lara. Yeah. That's the white gem. And she kicks that's ass. That's exactly why I yeah. played it. And, and, but that's the one cool thing about this game is not many times you can play through a game that you're a female character. I'm you know, just, a character that can take a beating. That she can, took a yeah, beating. can she take, take took, a beating and is in, impervious to the cold. Talk about a beating. This guy will hand out a beating. <laughs> If you are a thug, he will kick your ass. Arkham City. Batman. I would assume that this is the best Batman because you've played them all, right? You've even played the one on the PS4. What is that? Arkham... Arkham Knight. Knights? Mm -hmm. Knight? Okay. Arkham Knight. A lot of people do not like Arkham Knight because of the Batmobile. There's a learning curve and some people just always hate it. Whether you get good with the Batmobile or not. But this one here, you yeah, you're basically going around the city. You're not driving around. You're you're flying around or gliding, I should say. Yeah. But the array of weapons that you can use, uh, all the side missions with all the different villains that you uh, encounter, yeah. make the story so much better. Oh, you nice. can plow through this game, uh, just doing strictly the story mode, and yeah. fly through it. But what I like so much better is encountering all the different villains. Right? And you said it's open world. It's open well, world. Arkham City. Arkham yeah. City. Yeah. No, well, it's like Spider-Man. Spider-Man yeah. was like he was in New York. Yeah, like I'm wondering if I would New enjoy it. Open world New York. <clears throat> I do. You know what? I I'm always in kind of astonished that I like an open world game from time to time because you know Skyrim days yeah time. but Both you know that games. a game like this I mean you're, you're in the city so it's not yeah a vast map that no. you can navigate you can through, through. but if you enjoy Batman 
you'll enjoy this game. Oh my yeah. god, yes. Like, the all the characters, the voice acting in it is fantastic. Well, I can make it's a, a game. cool little story, or, or, or the main story. As you're watching it unfold, you're like, oh, this is this, this is pretty cool. Exactly. Oh, fuck. You I almost, can't believe you're you still almost. <laughs> well, it's like fucking herd mentality. I'm like, he's drinking. I must. Drink. It leaves an aftertaste. Yes, the honey. The honey doesn't ferment well. Yeah. The next game. <laughs> I love the franchise. Uh, I always said that part two was my favorite, mm -hmm. and then I played this one on the PS4. And it brought it to a whole new level. Uncharted 4. And this was also on my top 10. I just thought that they got everything right in this oh, game. Oh, yeah. Yep. It, the shooting and the gameplay and stuff, it, it got better. It was always good, like in, in the second one, where I thought they, they had nailed it. The storytelling enhanced. The in this story game. is so good in this. Oh yeah. They introduced more characters. Yeah. And gave him more of a backstory. More of a backstory. Yeah. And as if anyone has played the Uncharted, they know that the climbing and the swinging mm -hmm. and all this, it's yeah. tedious. And this one here, I enjoyed it. I did too. It was I fun. Really did I was too. like, ooh, I get to, I get to slide and jump and swing. Uh, While the other ones, I was like, ah, oh, I have to, oh, I have yeah. to slide and jump and swing. <laughs> and this one here, for some odd reason, they just got it right. Every mm -hmm. aspect was fun. I honestly think if. I think you should play all the Uncharted's. They're all they all have their place. But if you plan on playing one of them, this is the one you could play. And you probably wouldn't need a whole lot of backstory because this does give you some stuff. Uh, oh yeah, yeah it, it's just by one. playing the original ones you you, you get a bit learn more. to see who the characters are, like when you're with Sully and all. Well, the you know evolution what I mean? of his character yes. and her character yes. that that I think would benefit from playing from start to finish because you, yeah, you're in, introduced to her right at the first yeah. I cannot remember her name that's why I'm saying her the uh, the only uh, Uncharted game I did not play is the one on the Vita yeah I anyways did. I didn't play that one I'm not a big fan of handheld yeah and from what I hear you played it and you're like eh. but if you do like the Uncharted series uh, when they branched off and they released the Lost Legacies, mm -hmm. where it was I the, the one with the one two yet. women, that one is very good. Mm -hmm. My next game on my list. What number is this? Ten, <laughs> nine, eight. This is number six. All right. Yeah. Uh, it's another fantastic franchise, and my favorite up till this game was released was the third game, and then they released fantastic game. The graphics are amazing. The graphics are awesome. They're top tier on oh, the yeah. environment. Yeah. Uh, like Scott, you'll know what I mean by that big serpent. Mm -hmm. Oh, just the base in the room Holy when, they, when he comes crap. up there. And you're looking at in the sheer size of him and you're yeah. like, whoa, like you see the, the, the massiveness of of this creature yeah and you're like holy crap but it's just it's a beautiful game beautiful mm -hmm. game oh, yeah uh, the very first time that you're in combat and you get to throw your axe and then you summon it back <laughs> boom and you catch it and it's just the sound you just feel so powerful, powerful. I just oh I loved it it just it it blew my mind of how smooth a game that it was mm -hmm. the, the combat the only thing i wish is that he was a little more mobile Where you, when you're doing your climbing sequences and he can jump like a mother but during your fights his rolls are like real tight i know what you mean I, my far. only defense of that is said yeah but he is like he's such a big guy that he's not a cat well, I realize that, but like when you're but, climbing, yeah, though, when you're climbing, he does all this stuff. It's weird. Yeah. yeah, I know. I I know what you mean. I I, I see. I see your point. Uh, but the the, the fighting, uh, being able to, to have your your son with you there, boy. Yeah. Uh, and you you can kind of command him to shoot, shoot arrows. To shoot arrows yeah. as you're yeah, playing. Yeah. I enjoy that aspect of yeah. it that wow. you kind of have this secondary player. I leveled him up before I leveled up. Atreus. Yeah, I leveled Atreus, Atreus yeah. there before yeah. I did uh, Kratos. It just came to me. Oh yeah, and uh, 
if you haven't played through it uh, and uh, you want a real good challenge, do all, I, I can't remember if it was nine or ten Valkyries, but good God, they're difficult. Number five. Number five. He, here, this game here is probably one of the only games I've ever done this to. I played it to completion where it's not a real short game. No. And when no. I was done, which I, I did everything in the game, and yeah. I said, I'm going to restart it. You see what that says? Days gone. And it made my top ten as well. Good God, I love this game. Now, when I first started it, I encountered glitches. Yes. And this was well after the game had come out, but you were on a base model PS4. I was on the base model PS4, and yeah. I actually I, I actually played it, it free, digitally digital from uh, a free game from the PS Plus. Yes. And I played it through there, and I was pleasantly surprised. Me, as soon as you say that there's zombies in it, I'm interested. Uh, this was a zombie game done right. Without Sarah. 100%. Those oh. zombies, like, without those in it... The hordes. The, yeah. Oh like, my God. Individual not... zombies, and they didn't even call them zombies in there. But the, well, the individual did they call them runners? No. 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 Freakers. Freakers. Like, yeah. Well, there was Freakers. different, there was different types of the zombies. the hordes though. that were intimidating, because yes. you would run into hundreds, oh. hundreds of them at one time. Oh, three. man. And then I, you'd have infected uh, animals, like grizzly bears and wolves. But that's the thing. Like, there were so many layers to this game. Yeah. There was the zombies. There was the animals that were infected. And then there was also fighting the people. Yep. And then not just the other camps. Some of these crazy, like, outsiders, like, not in their own camps, but these oh, outliers yeah. that just yeah. were insane. Cutters, was it? Something. I don't know what they were. I can't were, but remember so what they many, were called, but there were anyway, some of them were crazy. The uh, the first time that you see the uh, rippers, I call them the, the, the oh yeah the yeah, rippers, I, I but like, the uh, no the Hulk zombies. Oh, he's this huge thing, and he grabs a regular zombie and just rips, rips them in half. half. <laughs> and you're like, what the hell? Oh, I no. gotta kill this thing. Oh my gosh, I, I loved it. I, I, I loved I, roaming around on the bike. Yes. A lot yeah. of times where you, when you have an open world and you can fast travel, I, I tend to fast travel a lot. Or maybe not at first of the game because I want to explore the map. But this game here, I didn't fast travel at all. It just so many different ways of playing it. You can play it stealthy if you want. Or you, like, I mean, when the horde's there, you have no choice. They start chasing you. Oh, it's full Rambo at that point. Oh, it's yeah. Rambo. It's you're there. running for your life. If you stop at all, you're like, you're oh, what's that? You're done. Yeah. I wouldn't call this a scary game. It's an intense game. It's intense yeah. Yeah. when yeah. that horde is closing in on you. Anytime it was it nighttime, got hairy at nighttime, I was like, uh -huh. get the fuck oh, back to yeah. camp. That yeah. You it's, need to get back to camp. It's safer to drive around in the daytime. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because at night, that's when the hordes they come out. They come out and they roam. But if that's what you like, that's when it's more fun. And that's <laughs> true. My next game, Jen is really excited. Number I four. am. I can't believe. I, I thought it would be so higher number four. Than number four on number my four. list. Number four on my list. Was thoroughly excited when they Thor. announced yeah. that they made a second part. Last of Us 2. This game got a lot of hate. A lot of hate. A lot of first. undue hate. Well, undue whatever, hate yeah. because I, I believe that depends. most of the people that hated the game didn't play it always. Jumped on the hate train yeah. and mm -hmm. actually didn't play the game. This, this is, is two, two games, games in one, in one. Yeah. easily. It's and two 15 hour games basically put together. Oh yeah, yeah. and to say hour game. Uh, but if you split them in half I mean, you, you could easily split them in half and say, well, I wanted more, but... <sighs> well, I guess, if we're getting on that topic, what's your better half? What half did you like more? If you, I, I'm saying half, like... the Like the second half? Character. No, no. I, instead of breaking it into a second half, all of Ellie's complete story, or all of Abby's complete story. Because you do go back to Ellie in the second half of the yeah, game. Yeah, which yeah. wasn't necessary. No. But they added it. Yeah. Yes. And I'm glad they did because the part in the compound mm -hmm. was oh, intense. Yeah. And that's what this game is. It is intense. It just builds. It builds when and builds and builds. There are certain moments that I was playing this game and I, I, I was so into it. My palms were sweaty and I was like, 
Need like, to eat I was, mom's spaghetti? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm freaking out. And I remember because yeah. Jen played through it first, you played through it, and they're asking me, where are you? And I'm like, I'm going down the hotel. Oh, oh shit. my God. And then the, it's like, once I get to the bar, I'm like, okay, I can take a breather. I'm going into the hospital. No breather. <laughs> no. no breather. Or even getting to the hotel, going oh. on, like... She's there's afraid no, of heights. I think it's safe to say there's no real lag or dull moments in this game. There really mm -hmm. is no the story or the no. action. It's 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 a complete roller yeah. coaster ride. Yeah. Emotional. There'll be certain points where you're loving the game. There's certain you're moments that you're hate. hating the game. Oh, yeah. You're like, oh my god, I can't keep playing this because it's yeah. pissing me off. But you persevere and you get to the mm -hmm. next point and you're like, okay, well, wait, wait a minute. I'm loving this game again. Why am I loving it? Yeah. Oh, the characters are amazing. It there was one part in the game that maybe some people would think was a little bit of a laggy part of the game, but it brought back that main character that you appreciated it when they went I to the museum. The yeah, uh, but that was there to show the connection between her and Joel. Yes, and that's yeah. what I was There saying. was a reason why they did things like it, that. It, it brought Joel back into the game. Yes. So it gave you that part. Yes. Where that was a little bit slower, but it was also nostalgic and it, it had its place. A just play it with an open play mind. Play through with an open mind and just enjoy enjoy the roller coaster ride because that's yeah. what this game oh, is. Yeah. Number three game on my list. It was a toss up with three and two. I had a really hard time. But we're going old school. SNES Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. This was one that I wanted to get in my top ten but I couldn't. Yeah, yeah I, the games pushed it out. Yeah. See I but the thing was you played it within what the year or so uh, i think it was about two years ago i played it. two years yeah. ago yeah. and you enjoyed it i know you enjoyed it yeah i played it when it came out when it came out yeah yes. there's a difference and like when this came out it seemed like it was an open we'll say it was an open world mm -hmm. concept you know what i mean it's yeah. it, it, it it's a small world, but you're able to go to different Constantly spots. Constantly traveling back and Constantly forth. Constantly going back and yeah. forth. But I think at the time it did something no other game had done at that yeah. point in time. So it yeah. made it and this the, so much lots more. Lots of little secrets there. Lots of little secrets. Yeah. And to this day, uh, I'm not even sure if I ever found all of the heart containers. Oh. You need to find like... I think like, I missed one. And I yeah. was using a walkthrough to find Okay. Them. Yeah. I, I don't know if I found them all. It's not necessary to, no. to find them. It's just fun to do it. Uh, but the worlds or the uh, the castles where you have to, you know, find your way through, mm -hmm. find your way to the uh, to the to the boss battle. But every castle has like a weapon. Yeah. You get that weapon and then you can there's certain weapons that you barely use. Or you can yeah. use them all the time. It yeah. depends on how you like it. Like, did you use the boomerang a lot? I did when I first got it, but I don't know if I continued on. Yeah, like, and did you ever upgrade it? Probably not. I can't remember. Because you have to throw the boomerang in the fairy pit. And she, did you drop this? Yeah. I will enhance it for yeah. you. There's a whole oh. bunch of different things like that. Where the game doesn't tell you. Throw stuff in and see what happens. Well, yeah, you're afraid. Because you're like, like ooh, if I throw it, I might lose, lose it. it. Yeah. yeah. But it, all of a sudden, it's discovery things. And you there's... throw in something you don't really care about and see what happens. Yeah, and there. see what happens. You're like, yeah. oh, don't drop this again. And yeah. every time Jen asks me, what should I play next? This game. I keep telling you to that. play this game. He keeps it's not overly difficult. The, bush. the boss battles are phenomenal. You just have to hide the PS4. The graphics. It's my favorite Zelda. Awesome. But I haven't played that many Zeldas. Yeah. Maybe it's my favorite Zelda. Yeah. Like the newer Zeldas are like out of this world, but this is what started it. Really. Yeah. Like I know yeah. there's an original Zelda, but like, but when they came out with this, this was. Oh. I mean, you went one, amazing. and you went two, and then Absolutely when you hit this amazing. one here, the third one, it was like, Oh, holy crap. Yeah. Poof. Yeah. Number two on my list, which Ooh. could have been three, I what you considering I do too. whatever. You don't remember? I remember oh, no, now. I remember. You remember Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Loved the game. I wish I could go back Jen still in has time. Jen still hasn't beat it. 
Will she ever? This is a game that everybody's uh, played, but it. not many people have beat it. Yeah. No, I mean, I I know I've completed it. I know you beat I've, it. I've I know one to. other guy that beat it, and everybody else, I no, Tyson's just too hard. I've never been able to beat it. It's like rubbing salt in the wounds. I, yeah, I think your 2022 has to oh, include. Can you no. imagine some of these games? Oh my god. I love all the characters. I love finding their their tells of what they're going to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Their patterns. Their patterns. Yeah. I just... The, the, the game is so much fun. I could put it. I could put it in and play it for four hours straight. You know. And you have. And, and play through it all. I, I've done it lots of times. And I play you different only, ways. Did you beat this when you were younger, or did you only? Beat oh, I know. I beat it when I was uh, when I was younger. I was probably in junior high when I okay. when I beat it. I only and, did uh, this this year. Not less less than a year. Yeah, yeah. And and you saw. I mean, once you can figure out my Tyson's you know them. patterns. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's like the, the the trick to Mike Tyson, as I always say, is second round. Well, it's second round, oh, but you have to take him do not in anticipate. Round. You have to just react. Yeah. Number one pick. Number one. Oh, I don't think it's gonna be a huge my all-time number one pick. For the longest time, I kind of got out of gaming, and then my brother bought me this game for Christmas, and he said, Pulled "This right game is right up your alley," and I put it in. And within the first, I'd say, 20, 25 minutes, yeah. I was sucked into this yeah. game and I couldn't put it down. Yeah. We've talked about it many times. You are sick of hearing us talk about it. <laughs> and the it was We won't talk about it anymore. Of us. No, we will. And We're it was always going to talk list. about this because it's always going to be the best game yeah. ever made. Was it, it fell, your number one? It fell on my number two because... The Last of Us 2 was my number Last one. Last of Us 2. I, I yeah. just think that without this, we wouldn't have The Last of and Us I, 2. And I go we back wouldn't. and forth on yeah. that. I do. I, I know. really, really do. I know. But I just loved how much more the second one made me feel. But yeah. I remember that first sequence in this game when she dies. And I'm like, you're that little... didn't just happen. Well, because you are, you, you're controlling your guy. Yeah. And the person that you're trying to protect... You don't protect him, and you're like, no, no, no. Oh, this didn't. It's not, this didn't just happen. It's not like losing a best friend who's it, an adult. You just hey. killed your you. Your daughter dies. Oh. And I'm like, that's not spoiler. No, fuck. Well, if you haven't played the game yet, you All need right. to. I want to talk about the fact that they're doing a remake of this game, which I don't to think me any of us I think necessary. they needed. I don't think it's necessary. Does anybody at this table want it? Okay, I'm gonna buy it when they make it. Do I think it's necessary? Absolutely not. What are it's they gonna do better? Game? Make the graphics better? They already remastered it. Make it so Ellie doesn't have to make shifts. Then I might be on board. I don't know. I don't know what else. It, it's just unnecessary. We'll I, I, I don't see why. I am, however, looking forward to the series mm -hmm. of The yeah. Last of Us. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to that. I wonder when they remake it, do you know how there was a DLC for this game that you go back and play when you're trying this to get Joel back to to and save him because he's been injured? You, pl you go into the mall and you have him hiding out and then you go and you try to find med kits to save him. I wonder if they'll add that in as a complete package and then you'll get more of that storyline between oh, well, there. Maybe, there might be stuff But that, added. you know what? I wasn't too crazy about that DLC. I, I never like, played eh. it. I didn't feel I didn't like it was DLC either. It was I heard you say it wasn't that great. I never played it. Yeah. I played the game, it was awesome. Every time I complete a game, I'm like, I should play Last of Us again. All right, guys, our memory card's almost dying. It's almost full, and I just want to prove that we can get everything on it. So until next time, game on! Game, game on. on. All right. Oh my god, oh, there's something wrong with my brain. Don't get up, then. It's the devil for me. <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> No, I don't. There's something seriously wrong. Okay, we'll call it in. I got it for like. Oh, that's it. You're something a lot tonight.